All right, Elias, get excited. We're talking about dogs. And uh, besides knowing her as your favorite math and science tutor, Patty Graziano is also known for having a couple of very large and impressive dogs that sometimes make a vocal appearance on our program. But there is a specific reason for these amazing Newfoundlands. Patty is an incredible mom with a daughter who lives on the autism spectrum. <laughs> so there is a reason when we are at her house, we often say, get ready for the Boba Show. They are larger than life and equal parts hair and slobber. I love when people ask if they shed, yes, a litter of cats a day. But more than just fluff, 10-year-old Boba has been a therapy dog to Patty's daughter, Rio. We have heard that dogs were great with kid, for kids with autism. But there was a catch. Patty had an extreme phobia of dogs. I am scared of dogs. And I said, no, we would not get one. But a family trip that included a chance encounter with a Newfoundland quickly changed Patty's mind. And my daughter started talking more and interacting with people more that she had never done. Enter service dog Boba, who happens to be a rescue, and quickly became Rio's best friend and went with her everywhere. We went from daily panic attacks at school, my daughter, to maybe once or twice a month. People ask her about her dogs, and that's hard for people with autism to talk to people. And she's so passionate about her dog that she wants to talk to people about it. As Rio got older, Bobo retired as a service dog and Patty's family didn't want him to be lonely, so they then added Gimli to the family. But as we come to the end of Autism Awareness Month, Patty has this to keep in mind. I think we've done a really great job spreading the news of awareness and now we need to take it a step further and talk about acceptance. So Patty and her family ask that we all just meet in the middle. As humans, we don't want to be isolated, so don't isolate them. And as Boba and Gimli are concerned, they will always make sure that you feel loved. Whenever you come, we're like, it's the... Now, in case you were wondering, the term for fear of dogs is sinophobia. I've never heard of that before, so there you go. But more importantly, if you'd like to further the conversation about autism, we're going to have links to guide you in the right direction on our website, weareiowa.com.